Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss random variables and what are discrete random variables and continuous random variables. These are two types of uh, random variables. So we will uh, discuss these both kinds of random variables here. But before knowing what are random variables, let me tell you some uh, terminologies that will be used here. What is sample space? Actually, the range of all possible outcomes of an experiment is known as the sample space. Okay, so whenever we perform any experiment, like uh, suppose uh, we are tossing three coins at the same time. Okay, this is uh, the experiment. Okay, and uh, then we may have uh, heads or tails on any of these coin. So either we may have heads on all these three coins, we may have uh, tails on all these three coins or two heads one tail and two tails one head so there are a lot of possibilities there are total eight possibilities so all these outcomes of this uh, experiment of tossing three coins is called the sample space all these outcomes are under this sample space and uh, what is random variable here first uh, let me tell you the definition of these uh, sample space and random variables after this i will explain you what is a sample space and random variable with the help of example so a random variable is a function it is a function which can take on any value from the sample space the sample space contains all the outcomes all the possible outcomes of that experiment as we have seen in the coin example so this takes on some values that are part of sample space from this okay from this sample space and having range of some set of real numbers okay is known as the random variable of the experiment so let's make it more clear with the help of our example what is sample space and what is random variable so let's here take an example of our uh, experiment of tossing three coins at the same time we are simultaneously tossing three coins so as already discussed these are the eight possibilities because the first coin may have either head or tail two two possibilities and the second coin may have two possibilities and the third coin may have two possibilities so two into two into two there are total eight combinations two cube so these are the eight uh, possibilities this is uh, the possibility is arranged uh, this this is also taking into account the arrangements i mean uh, two heads these are the combinations first coin is having head second is having head third is having tail and here the order has been changed so total eight combinations so these are total eight outcomes so this is the sample space because it contains all the possible outcomes of this experiment now let's suppose the number of tails is the random variable x we will understand this x how we can uh, take some values from this sample space and make our random variable so we name this random variable as x and it will contain the number of tails in this experiment and this x1 value is zero it means in this case here we have we are only taking the number of tails in the random experiment in this experiment so number of tails is here it is zero in this case we have how many tails only one tail and here also here also we have one tail one tail but in this case we have two tails so two tails two tails two tails and all these three tails so here we have considered or taken only the number of tails from this sample space therefore it is a random variable and we have named this variable as x so this this is a discrete random variable as i told you that there are two kinds of random variables continuous random variable and discrete random variable so this is an example of discrete random variable as we have finite number of uh, outcomes and these values are denoted by x1 to x8 okay so now we will see types of random variables classification is discrete and continuous random variables so what are discrete random variables the example that i have uh, given you of this uh, three coins tossing three coins 
was an example of discrete random variable. So these are the random variables which can take on only finite number of values in a finite observation interval. As uh, in this uh, coin example, we had only eight outcomes. So these this can be counted. This can be counted. So it is it has finite number of values in the outcome in a finite observation interval. So we can say that discrete random variable has distinct values that can be counted. It is very clear. So this is the same example that we have already seen to explain you the concept of sample space and random variables. Now we will see the continuous random variable. So it has continuous outcomes. Okay, a random variable that takes on infinite number of values, we call it as continuous random variable. Well, discrete had only certain number of values, certain number of outcomes that can be counted. So it has infinite number of that cannot be counted. The outcomes are infinite. So many physical systems uh, can produce infinite number of outcomes in a finite time of observation. Okay, in such cases, we use continuous random variables to define outputs of such systems. Okay, so here we will uh, see two examples. Suppose we want to perform a job. Okay, somebody wants to perform a job, then he can complete this job in different time intervals. Suppose I want to fill a tank, then somebody can take uh, two hours to fill that tank, and the same person, even the same person, can fill this tank in different time intervals okay he can take different times to fill that tank and also if we consider other persons then the time taken by other persons to fill that tank will be different so the point is the job is same but the time to complete that job can contain infinite number of times okay it can have any value so this is an example of continuous random variables so this has been given here so this job is continuous random variable since there are infinite number of times that is different times to finish that job. The another example can be of, of the noise voltage that uh, is generated by electronic amplifiers. As we know electronic amplifiers generate noise signals, noise voltages and it has continuous amplitude. Infinite number of values of amplitude are produced by that electronic amplifier. So the sample space will contain infinite values it will be continuous and the random variable that we will uh, obtain from that uh, sample space will also be will also contain range of continuous values so this was all about random variables and its uh, types continuous random variable and discrete random variables hope you got the point and in the next video we will see the cumulative distribution function cdf and probability density function pdf so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to subscribe it and if you like the video please click on the like button and share it thanks for watching have a nice day bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.